It's official. The course is finally done. Okay, so here's what I gotta say. I have lost hair and I have lost sleep over this course. I've been talking to you about this math course forever. I wanted to give you one final, lay it all out, final update so that you knew what was exactly involved, what took so long, how the course ended up turning out, what sort of updates we're still adding to it so that you know what you're getting into and that you know what product you're getting into. And right at the end, we're gonna talk, of course, discounts for you supportive loving bunch that you are let's go into the studio let's talk about it okay peeps just so you know we have links down below for you to access the course quickly that way you don't have to search for it there that is the thumbnail that I'm currently using for it now let's talk about the curriculum so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into at the beginning I start with order of operations which is essentially your PEMDAS or your bed mass according to which country you're from our American friends are using PEMDAS please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we're using bed mass. It's essentially parenthesis, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or here in Canada, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. It tells you what order you're supposed to go by when you come to a math formula. That way you know the way all your peers are doing it and you're gonna get the exact same answers. And then the next section you're gonna see is fractions. Now peeps, I have 30 lectures just on fractions, which lets you know that fractions is gonna be a substantial part when you're going to trade school. Everything we do on a job site has to do with fractions because we're constantly using tape measures. And here's what you have to realize, if you don't understand your fractions, you're gonna have a tremendously difficult time figuring out the answers because at some point you're gonna do conversions. Conversions will use fractions. At some point you're gonna do ratios. Ratios are gonna use fractions. At some point you're gonna use formulas and those formulas are gonna use fractions. So everything that you're gonna be doing in trade school will be on fractions and that's why I needed to go through this at length. So I just want to show you what we have. We have intro interpreting how fractions are expressed, including mixed fractions or mixed numbers, including improper fractions. We convert from improper fractions to regular fractions or mixed numbers, and then mixed numbers back. And I want to show you something really interesting here. I have sections on each lesson that's called more examples. And in the more example sections, I'm essentially going through additional questions with you. So I give you the lecture in converting mixed fractions to improper fractions. I give you the lecture. I show you the principles. I teach that to you. I do a couple of questions with you and then I sit down and in the more example sections, I'm doing an additional five to 10 questions with you. So not only do you understand the principles, but you understand my mindset, my game plan as I see a fraction and as I navigate it. And I do that with every section that I can here. And another thing I'd like to point out is if you go to the actual sections, for example, if you go into adding fractions, you're gonna see downloadable materials sitting right here and that essentially tells you that I'm providing worksheets at the end. So you get the lessons, then you get me explaining even more and showing you about five to 10 questions on how to do them and then I give you practice worksheets so you can sit down and work on it yourself and hone that skill and that craft. So we go through adding, subtracting, dividing and multiplying regular fractions and mixed fractions and I teach you how to borrow with subtraction and what to do and how to find the inverse with division. I go through it extensively. I leave no stone unturned. I don't take any shortcuts. I want you to have as much information as possible getting into your trade school. And then we finally get over to conversions. Now conversions is important because at some point you're gonna have feet, you're gonna need inches. Or you're gonna have feet, you're gonna need yards. Here in Canada, you'll need meters to kilometers. US gallons to imperial gallons. Fahrenheit to Celsius. I have an entire section on Fahrenheit Fahrenheit to and Celsius. I teach you to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius and backwards. And again, like I was telling you, we have downloadable material. You can sit down and then do a bunch of questions as well to see if you're understanding the concepts. And I also, again, am adding more examples. So not only are you getting the lessons, you're getting the mindset. I'm talking out loud and letting you know, how am I figuring this answer out? What's the first thing in mind? What's the most important? Then we go to ratios, which we talk about slope and grade on a pipe. A lot of times you'll get a code book and it'll show you a certain percentage and it'll say it needs to have 1% slope. I'm gonna teach you how to figure out what 1% eventually translates to on your tape measure. Your tape measure is only gonna say an eighth of an inch, a sixteenth of an inch per foot or a quarter of an inch per foot or a half an inch per foot. How 
do you figure that out from a percentage? Then I also teach you total fall, length, and grade, which is a formula to figure out if you have a pipe and it's an eighth of an inch per foot of slope or grade, if it's 150 feet long, how do you find out how much fall, total fall is it gonna have, et cetera. And I show you how to do all three versions of that. And again, PDFs and downloadable materials so you can do the work then afterwards. Then we go into pipe offsets. This is a big one because at some point with your pipe work, you're gonna wanna make it look beautiful. And if you wanna do a 45 degree offset, but your measurement's off, it's gonna show the pipes are gonna bend weirdly and somebody's gonna go, you know, that pipe was too long. I teach you how to go through that. I teach you the math, I teach you fitting allowance, I teach you parallel spread when we start talking about double parallel offsets, teach you travel and all the subsequent lessons. I even teach you rolled offsets. And then at the end, I even have a section that talks about different offsets. What if you're not using 45 degree fittings? What if you're using 60 degree fittings? What do you do then? I show you the formulas for those as well. And again, you have practice questions here. Then we go into geometry, we go into perimeter area volume of different types of shapes. One thing that I I'm gonna be adding in the future down the road is a section on surface area because that's also something that came up and at some point I will be updating this course, not to worry. Then we have heads and pressures, calculating how water reacts when you add pressure into a system. So if you have 50 PSI coming from the purveyor, how high is that gonna bring our water? Or if you have a building that's 150 feet tall, how much PSI do we need? The purveyor provides only a certain amount, then you have to add a booster pump to bring it up the rest of the way. We need to know these sorts of things. And then I talk about total force. Total force is essentially a measurement of weight from water. If you have a pipe that's eight inches in diameter and it travels 100 feet into the air and it's filled to the top, if you were to release the bottom of water how much weight will come down onto the ground that's total force and I go through this again extensively so peeps a couple of things I want you to know right off the bat look up over here to the top left nine hours and 50 minutes of a course this course was ridiculous to finally compile and get done. It's taken me many, many months. I started June 22nd, 2019. I even wrote the date down, but it's ready. It's here. So here's a couple of things that I wanna to talk to you off the bat. This is the fundamentals of plumbing math. This isn't going into fixture units and that sort of math. It is literally taking you through the foundations of things you will need, the tools you'll need to be able to do well in math school. Again, fractions, knowing them thoroughly, conversions, percentages, etc. I also have a section on percentages in this course. So it is a tremendously large course. I don't leave any stone unturned. I go very thoroughly through things, almost maybe too thoroughly. If you're good at these concepts, some of these things, I'm gonna be repeating a million times. I'm trying to get the repetition in your head. I'm trying to remind you of all the important things that are gonna come your way. I do an extensive amount of work on getting you these sheets and we're still uploading those so they're not fully done yet. I'm still adding them throughout the week so you'll be able to get those but I wanted to get you this course as quickly as possible now I want to talk quickly about pricing regularly it's $74.99 but you peeps have been tremendously patient and you've given so much to me over the years I just want to give something back so for the next three days I'm going to be giving you all 10% off all you have to do is write this coupon code plum 10 when you're purchasing this course, 10% off. So instead of $74.99, you're looking at around $67.50 for the course and that's only for the next three days but that's just to give back to you all for being so supportive over the years and allowing me to chase my dreams with YouTube. So really extensive, a lot of work to be done here and a lot of practice. This is a really good prep work and a really great resource. That way if you are in trade school and you're having some problems with the foundations, you could always pop back here, look back into percentages and remind yourself, oh yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. A couple of other things I wanna show you. You're gonna see videos that say preview enabled. What that essentially tells you is that you can actually take a look at this video right here. You can take a look at this lesson. I have a couple of videos that are preview allowed. So you can sit down with me, go through that section, see if my teaching style is something that you're interested in, because maybe it's not and that's all fair. But I do provide that to allow you to have some ability to figure out if this thing is for you. So definitely take a look at the preview enabled videos. That way you can see certain sections like interpreting fractions, and like improper fractions as well. I think it's gonna be really useful for you. This math spans throughout my entire apprenticeship. This is all the math I used from Plumbing Basic 
all the way to my red seal. This is the sort of stuff I had to know in order to go through all of it. So there's some stuff in here that's from my basic course, intermediate course, and advanced course. And that's what you have to know. The courses I took during my apprenticeship introduced me to these lessons, and these are the lessons I'm giving back to you so that you have something to go into trade school with. And I know a lot of you are nervous about math. I was as well. I wanted you to have a tool that you can use to figure things out on your own pace and at your own time and hone it as you go along. So peeps, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any more questions, I'll try to hit those up as quickly as I can. Remember, we are gonna close the 10% Plum 10 off at 9 p.m. Sunday. Thank you for being patient with me. Like, subscribe, comment, share with friends that you think are having struggles with math or will, and I'll see you plumbers very soon. Kenny Molotov, guys. Peace, baby. Thank you.